Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door light switches in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get two new door light switches. There are two door light switches used on this refrigerator. They are mounted at the top of the cabinet, one in each corner. It's recommended to replace both of them at the same time. If the lights inside the fresh food compartment are not working or won't turn off when the doors are closed, check and replace the door light switches if needed. To get to the part, we need to open both fresh foot doors. So those are the two switches that we are going to replace. To do that, we need to go on the top of the fridge. So arm yourself with a quarter inch nut driver and the leather, and let's climb up on the side of the fridge. So we are at the top of the fridge, and uh, we need to remove five quarter inch screws. We'll get uh, two here, one in the middle, and two on the opposite sides. Using a quarter inch nut driver, going to proceed. Now I'm going to remove this, uh, this side hinge cover, put it aside, and this one, out of the way, and now we can uh, lift this one, and as you can see, we've got those two switches here. In order to be able to move this panel, I'm going to push this uh, plug out of the bracket. It's easy. And now I can uh, lift uh, up the panel and uh, the both switches and uh, actuators are exposed. As you can see, uh, this switch has only two terminals. This has three terminals, but the replacement switches are identical. They have uh, three terminals each. We're going to use only two terminals on this side. So we're going to remove this switch first. I'm going to press the uh, actuator in. Make sure it goes in all the way beyond this uh, side of the uh, cover. And I'm going to use the flatless screwdriver to pull it up. See, that's out. So we're going to go to this side and uh, we're going to repeat the procedure. I'm going to place a uh, flatless screwdriver underneath of the switch. and. Uh, press this uh, actuator all the way through the panel and it pops out. So we are just about to take out the wires, but before that we need to know which wire goes on which terminal. So on the new switch, if you will uh, turn over that uh, new switch, you will see the markings that says this one is a common, this is a normally closed and this is normally open and C and O and now we're going to turn it over and that would be exactly the position of uh, the old switch uh, wire connection so we've got this one on the top is a, a common which is a brown color then we've got normally closed which is pink and normally open which is black take a picture of the switch the way are connected so you will have a color code all right, so on the right side switch, we have only two terminals, as I mentioned earlier. So, and they marked the brown wire goes to the uh, common, COM, COM, and the white goes to the normally closed, NC. And uh, we're going to bring a new switch, put it next to it, and you will see that uh, the brown wire goes on the top and white goes in the middle. Uh, if you wish, you can take a pair of uh, pliers and break this terminal off. But uh, it's not going to be on the way, so you don't have to bother about it. 
just leave it like that if you don't want to I mean, do extra work. Now I'm going to remove the uh, wires from the terminals. I'm using a flat blade screwdriver. going to pry it off one by one. And the opposite side, I'm using the same flat blade screwdriver. And we're going to have a lot less work here. This is the old door light switches next to the new one. If you don't have these parts, you can get them from appliancepartspros.com. I'm going to install the right side first. And uh, remember, only two terminals are engaged. So this is our common brown and white on normally open. Then I'm going to squeeze the actuator and press it down. As you can see, it's all in. Now we're going to get the other one. So now we're here on the left side and uh, we got black, pink, and brown. The black one is normally open. That's the last one. Then we go in the middle, uh, the pink one. That's normally closed. And C. And then we're going to go for a common, which is brown. And I'm going to install it by uh, pressing on the uh, actuator and putting the switch into the bracket. Now I'm going to install the plug into the bracket. Technically we need to push it in, into the position. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to align the holes here. And uh, next I'm going to bring these uh, hinge covers and install them. Place it on. And uh, we need to interlock this with the central piece. Like that. Slide it in. And we're going to push it down. It's installed. And now we're going to take uh, the right side and Bring it in, and we're going to slide this interlock. And we're going to press it down onto the hinge. Now I'm going to secure these uh, three pieces with the quarter inch screws. And now when we're done, we can close the doors. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 